composer at 2 a.m. Um, I'm also in charge of the music department uh, where I have to go through um, the work that comes out of uh, the music department every day and make sure that uh, everything is up to standard. Um, I also produce and, and, and write um, music for advertising. I studied uh, film and TV production in Australia um, and when I finished my studies I went back to Singapore and I was offered a job and shortly after that I came to Malaysia because I was uh, offered another job here so um, during that time we had a recession in Singapore and so things weren't going that well so I ended up here and uh, never looked back since. But I think the first um, inspiring moment for me was uh, in 2004 I believe when um, we had a uh, music, I'm sorry it wasn't music, it was Malaysia Video Awards in 2004 and I won the best music for Malaysia Truly Asia, we got a second runner up for that and so that was uh, quite a pivotal moment in my career so I'm very thankful for that. Challenging task, I would say sometimes uh, dealing with clients, um, constant changes of the brief or the music, uh, sometimes it's quite difficult to understand um, from the client's perspective what they require from the music um, because they are, they are not musicians so sometimes the way they communicate and the way they want certain things to be done sometimes uh, that could be quite challenging for us in terms of trying to understand and yet provide a solution for them but generally speaking I guess uh, we because of the experience that we have we are able to problem solve um, our clients' problems quite quite easily. So, but day-to-day -day stuff, uh, these are one of the. This is one of the, the, the things that we have to deal with. I think lots of things. Uh, music is a big love uh, of my life. So I enjoy creating and writing music, working with uh, my colleagues. Uh, we have a great team here at 2AM. Um, it's more like a family rather than uh, uh, colleagues. I think yeah, we get along enjoy each other's company and I think because it's a small outfit here at 2am we, um, we kind of take care of each other so the day in day out uh, working together is quite a pleasant experience even though sometimes uh, we work late and things can get quite challenging at times but yeah. I think in any job in any career the best motivating factor is to love what you do if you love what you do you're able to um, cover the day-to-day, -day, you're able to move forward, you're able to uh, try your best because you enjoy what you do and your job isn't a job, it's, it's, a, it's a passion for you. So even I speak for myself where there are challenging tasks, uh, sometimes there are difficult uh, clients, there are, there are things that will always uh, set you back but if you have the passion, you, you will always push forward. And I also believe that if you do love what you do, then you have to put in the effort. You have to uh, be hardworking and and really push forward and, and, and try your best. Otherwise, um, you um, that's how you succeed in the industry, I, I believe. I think in order to succeed in any industry, um, you have to be the old saying, you got to be hardworking, you got to, um, to reap what you sow, you need to um, be hardworking and, and, and do as much as you can. Um, learn as much as you can as you go along and um, continue to improve yourself, continue to push yourself to greater heights um, so that you know eventually you can also contribute back to the, to the industry, to the, to, the, to the people who want to follow your footstep. Um, so you set the, the pathway for them. So I hope that um, this will inspire you to pursue the career of your dream and also to continue to work hard and push for greater heights.